we used to have a lot of that white, uh, but uh, people from Sicily, um, when uh, Lincoln had that um, claims where people could pick up land, some people from Sicily moved on into our land, and that's where the white was. So they, the people used to uh, dig out the white clay for the coach teams and center moves. In our coach team category, I think we need to have maybe two, just because of the firing. The biggest arc with our split is the firing. Is the firing. It's very hard to do, very hard to do. All of you that have grandkids, try it and teach them. And I know it's hard because I have a hard time. But, you know, I try to, to tell them what my mom used to tell me. She, my mother was from San Juan, so she did mostly the red and some black. And she would tell me, you know, she said, you should learn. And I didn't want to learn either. I had a job, and I didn't want to learn. And she said, someday, she said, you know, your husband might not be working, but if you're working and you're doing this, you have that to fall back on your pottery, you know. So that got me to thinking. So I always make time to learn how. So uh, I guess that's all. Uh, I hope that, you know, well, some of the things why, uh, you know, we'll look into that would be appreciated. I don't think just for me, but from a lot of other people. Several years ago out at Hopi, NPC was teaching, that's Northern Pioneer College, was teaching a class in Hopi pottery. And the title underneath there was uh, a Hopi lady will teach you all the ins and outs of pottery making, you know, from collecting your clay, painting, and all of this stuff. When um, NPC offer, offered this class, I gathered together a number of potters, and we went down there and dressed a Hopi tribe regarding this and brought in the NPC people, and they promised us that day that they would not ever teach a Hopi 101 class in pottery. One of the things that we have to be extremely, you know, we talk about the sacredness and how much it means to us, is this is our intellectual property. And if we're not gonna hang on to it and hand it out, we're shortchanging ourselves. But the method of gathering your materials, boiling your clay, and I was happy to hear that because I try everything too. I try the La Capa on the cedar trees, which is excellent, and you get it all year round, uh, not just during the spring or during the fall for your mustard or for your bee weed. They like to try everything too. And uh, make sure that you're going to dung fire your pots. I think everybody probably fires traditionally out at Hopi because you know you see the puffs of smoke assume that that they're doing their pots in the in the way that it was shown to them throughout the generations every place there is going to be contemporary work it just means what slice of life that you're at you know like let's say maybe Chaco Canyon 1300 classic era the people that were doing those designs were new in our native potters designs because prior to that they weren't being designed right your corrugated and cookware, all of a sudden we're going in the direction of designing and whatnot. So that's a contemporary move. But at some point, I followed my mom's designs for a length of time. Now my children follow those. Like for me, my grandmother was Fakwa, my mother's feather woman. And now my little children, grandchildren, do this, do the work. At some time, your creator has given you the ability to be creative so you can move in a different direction. My, mom, my mother only used a couple of colors, but over the past 10 years or so, I've been this scientist that's gone out and looked for clay colors and, you know, trading Pam. I've traded Pam for some uh, mytitious clay. So, you know, I go around and um, do this at market. Oh, can I have that? And I just need a little ball because I use it just for coloring. I don't use it for molding. That's part of the tradition. Somebody comes to you for a black stone, you'll be willing to give it. They come to you for a piece of the, the ink, the, the boiled vegetational, you give it to them. Sometimes I make my, my car, clay is too hard and it's not, it's too dense and it isn't porous enough for my, my 
I slip when I reach another way. And this is just a way that you that you that you help yourself also, that you rejuvenate with what you learn and um, I just have my grandkids to teach too. And that's what tradition is, just passing it from one and it's okay to teach members if you're your particular village that you mentor some other people, but handing it out to a whole completely betraying your own intellectual.